Hello and how are you? My name is Mohino Berg and I welcome you to our 18th lecture of mastering our Flutter user interfaces. Well, let's do 40 minutes and you can see our timer has started. So we're going to finish our topic of menus. So in the previous lecture, we got introduced to how we can design different kind of menu. In this lecture, we're going to design this menu and that will give you enough uh, concepts of how you can modify your menu and maybe also you do other challenges of doing a uh, different kind of uh, uh, menus such as this one which has filters and the rest so in this one let us begin by designing uh, uh, this what this kind of menu is it this agri menu called agri menu agriculture menu okay so let's go ahead and uh, design it let's go ahead and design this kind of menu so that will give you enough grasp grasp to also see how you can design different kind of uh, menus that you want okay so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to come here and create a, uh, another one okay so i can just duplicate this menu since all of them they just draw menus so i'm just going to duplicate the main that already done and then uh, we do what and then we modify it for each to look like this one okay so i'll go ahead and copy and paste this one i'm going to call this one uh, agree menu agree menu and uh, agree menu screen and then i'll come here and select the whole class Control f alt and enter and then I read multi name here and call this one and remain instead of news menu. All right, so after doing that, I'll come and change the title. Come and change the title from draw news to uh, uh, draw agree menu for agriculture. All right, so after doing that, let's go ahead and uh, add this menu to our main uh, navigation menu so someone should be able to navigate to that menu so i'll come to our main route and then go ahead and duplicate this uh, route and call this one agree draw agree menu and then this one i'm going to call it a draw agree menu all right, so after doing that, uh, now someone should be able to do what? To click here, and then they should be here to draw a green menu. So now the, the, the task is we're going to see how we can change this uh, uh, menu that we have right now to look like this agriculture menu, okay? So let's don't mind about this uh, front end side. Well, what you mind is about the menu because that's the main to topic that we're looking at today so everything is all right so the next thing you're going to do is to color the scaffold so i mean to color the, the status bar to green so let's first navigate to our menu which is this one uh, the first thing that we're going to do we're going to color the green to i mean the 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 the, as the bar to green so there we go okay the status bar to green after coloring the status bar to green the next thing you're going to do, we're going to give a, a stack so that these things should be on top of the other. So let's go ahead and uh, create stack on this drawer. So instead of putting a uh, scroll view, we're going to put what? We're going to put stack. Okay, stack. So this stack is going to take children and the first child is going to be the image. Okay, so it's going to take children and then the first child will be the image while giving it stuck is because we want to have a what the other big background image okay so it is uh, image 31 according to our assets in the images that i did what that i did share with you so it is 31 okay so let me see what i've been done right here bracket all right so i save 
And if we expand our menu, you see, we already have that kind of uh, beautiful menu. So why is it like this? Is because we have stack, and then you give it hate infinity and hate infinity, and you know anything that will come on top of an item next to the item of the stack will be on top of it. Okay, so all right. After doing that, we're going to give um, we're going to give what? Uh, the, 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 the layer you see there's a layer in front of it so this layer to give it you just simply come in front next to stack and then you create a container and give it a color and then you give it what you call opacity so I've created a black container and then you give it an opacity of 0 0.5 so it's going to be transparent by 0 0.5 so when you do like this you will see we have that kind of black in front of the layer and once you have black it in front of a layer even though it is having it uh, it has some transparency it means that in front of it you can be able to write the, text, the white text and the, that white text will be readable in this case you're like writing in a, on a on a on a what on a glass okay so after doing that the next thing we're going to give now the column <coughs> column down to column, we put children. We have to put children. We're going to put um, right. So the children in this column, we're going to have a container that's going to have the height of 40. So the container is going to have the height of 40. So this con this column, since it's on top of, of this, is after these ones, it's going to be on top of those items that are in stack all right so we're going to give the row that is going to have this closing icon okay. so we'll go ahead and do that you see it's just nothing but a row in front is having 10 and then it's also have a icon button that of close and then it has a spacer so by doing like this we'll have such kind of what of beautiful icon that you can see on top here okay so this icon, you give it a, 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 a on press listener, like when someone presses on it, you go ahead and pop. So by doing like that, it will be able to do what? To close the drawer. And so after doing that, the next thing you're going to head, you, go and, uh, you put a what? A height of 40. And then after putting the height of 40, you go ahead and put the image now, this image of the person, I mean of this user icon. Okay, so you see it's nothing but what? An image in that kind of way. And uh, it is what? It is centered. So by doing like this, because items in our column here, they are centered, then you'll have a beautiful uh, centered image in there. Then you go ahead and give it a height of 5. Okay. And then you can put here, there maybe a user name of person. Okay, so I didn't put this. By doing like this, you'll be able to have that. Then the remaining are going to be what? Uh, the list items, the list tiles. And I believe everyone knows here how to create a what? A list tile. Okay. So go ahead and add 40 on top of it and add your own list tile that you want. So everyone should be is familiar here with this style. You should be knowing how they work. So you see, this list style has planned. Now someone can use it to click on it. Okay. So I have their plans. So I can go ahead and put uh, a product. Okay. Then after product. You can go ahead and put flowers. Okay, this is nothing but what? But list tiles. Then uh, after doing that, then we can go ahead and put maybe uh, process, something like that. Then after adding a uh, process, now we're going to design and put something in bottom. Okay, so before you design, let us first uh, display it. So I'm going to have a divider like this. OK, 
Okay, so you see, we have a very, very beautiful divider of uh, having one pixel, okay? And then after that divider, there's another last list style item which is going to be explored. So maybe this can be a logo or it can be something like this. So by doing like that, so we have that last item that is having the explore and it has a what? Uh, a, a trailing what? A trailing uh, icon. Okay. Here, this one. So if you want this to be in bottom, this one, then it means that you'll have to come here and put what you call spacer. If you still remember spacer, it will push everything to its maximum. So you see, I'm having this one, and then you have this one here. All right. So I hope you can see that. It is so beautiful. So you can also go ahead and try it. Okay, or be much more creative and see how you can do such kind of what? Such kind of things. So a spacer should come before before the line, before the divider, such a divider. Okay, so you can also be able to create such a what? Such a draw up bar. I mean up menu, draw menu for the app. All right, so that's how we have learned how to create what? Uh, draw menus. All right, so you can proceed to something else. So you, I hope you to get your hands dirty and you try them out. All right, so let us see how you can create. Uh, let me show you. So the ones that are a little bit complex, I'll create them for you. If they are not complex, I'll ask you to do what? Uh, to try them out by yourself. So I'll just give you the ideas. So I'll finish these two. I'll finish, okay, this one of progress. This one you can do it. Uh, you can as well do it. Uh, so you'll just simply create the normal thing, but put your stack. In this and then uh, you align the image to be in the center of stack and then you give it a, a height of negative so it will be able to do what to be uh, below the other so go ahead and try and challenge yourself and do this kind of what of uh, draw progress what progress uh, many draw many all right so finish that progress we'll finish this one of a Greek Okay, so I want to give you ideas of things that you can try out. Uh, so I want you to try out this one of filter, whereby it's going to be on the right hand side, on the left on the on the left hand side, and should be able to collect even inputs in uh, the menu. So this menu can be used for filtering. Okay, that's a challenge I'm giving it to you. Uh -huh, so. I want you to be able to do the little filter. I want you to be able to do this kind of admin menu where we're going to have different what? Different user interfaces. I mean different UIs. So here the only thing, the icons are colored. So go ahead and pause the video and challenge yourself and see if you can do uh, this kind of a menu. Same concept, but uh, different experiences or different displays. So challenge yourself and do this menu, okay? That was admin menu. Okay, you can do this bottom menu. Okay, you can do this bottom menu. So I want you to challenge yourself. It is exactly the same thing. It is a just list style like the way we've been doing, whereby you have the leading and the heading and the trailing, and then here on top you just have um, an item with a what, with a the emoji. So this is a hard menu that I'm challenging you to do what, to try out. Okay. I'm challenging you to try out. Okay, I can give you the idea. I can give you the idea of how you can approach it. Okay.
So if you look at the scaffold, okay, this is our scaffold. It is having what you call bottom navigation bar and has bottom up bar. Okay, so bottom up bar is the opposite of the up bar. You know, we have been putting up bar, up bar, now there's something called bottom up bar. Okay, so instead of using uh, the up bar, we'll go ahead and create the bottom up bar and then go ahead and add these items. Okay, go ahead and add this item whereby this is just a, a so what an icon button which has a spacer and here they have another icon button another icon button another icon button so now when you click this icon it has to launch the menu automatically this one here okay so to launch the menu we just simply do the show and not show and then do a set state so here uh, you right you click you create you call this function called show sheet so this is nothing but a what but a bottom sheet so you have to just be creative and know even a bottom sheet can work in that place i've already told you the bottom sheet i've already explained those bottom sheets so i want you to challenge yourself and implement that menu in form of what in form of bottom sheet yeah you can yeah you can you can increase it you can increase it yeah you have like uh, full access to to modify almost everything that you do what <coughs> that you want so it just depends on your what on your idea so go ahead and reach out and challenge yourself by doing this bottom sheet okay that will do what that will display the menu from bottom and instead of using up bar use bottom up bar okay and then use icon bar to display this and do something exactly like this one i've already told you bottom sheet so it shouldn't be what shouldn't be uh <laughs> it shouldn't be like a uh, alarmed like it is very hard it is really possible okay so go ahead and challenge yourself and do that all right, so let's look at another kind of menu. Exploring. Okay, so that is a slide menu. I think uh, this one, we can do it. Uh -huh. Then this one also, we can do one of them and then you can get the idea of how we can achieve the rest. Okay, this menu, which can slide. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one, the first sliding menu, this one. And then for you, you do the rest. You do the rest by challenging yourself and see if you can achieve them. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do this uh, sliding menu. So I'm going to do it from scratch. I'm going to do it from scratch so you can also uh, recap and get the whole concept of what of menus i have to create a special video for them so you come while uh, you're ready because i'll have to first teach you about uh the what the obs or what you call a state management package then for you to understand and then you'll be able to do what uh to, to grasp everything all right so with that said let us uh proceed to banners because because our time is running let us proceed to banners so banners uh, we use them to communicate to users important messages for example uh, when a user is offline you may need to tell them you're offline maybe when you give a user that uh, uh, they have successfully done a certain step or a certain uh, thing or process you may need to show them a banner maybe you want to uh like if you use whatsapp 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 chat or the whatsapp application when you when you application when you when your storage is full 
in WhatsApp, they give you a communication in form of a, a banner, and then it communicates to your mind for you to do what to do some action. For example, what you're seeing here on top here is a banner. Okay, so it gives uh, <coughs> communicate. <coughs> it is stick to somewhere and give the communication to the user that they should do some action. So we're going to see how we can create such kind of what, such kind of uh, banners. Okay, so these are the banners that I'm talking about. A banner like this one, and also a banner like this one that can be pinned. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with these banners. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, a separate what, a separate section of banners. So I've created a separate fold of banners. So inside these banners, I'm going to create a, for my first screen for the banner. Okay, so uh, we're going to begin with this one, the basic banner screen. Okay. So I'll come here and create here a new file called banner underscore basic dot dot. Then you create a class for it. Set full widget of banner basic screen. And then you go ahead and import the state. And then after doing that, we are now going to go ahead and uh, add this one to our main menu so someone should be able to click and then proceed to here. So I come here and add the title. So you can call banners. And then after, come here and add the banner itself, the banner screen. And then this one call them basic banners. So after doing that, then you should be able to come to a home page and then be able to see basic banners. So in this basic banner, we're going to see how we can create such a basic banner like this one. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. So then begin by putting scaffold. Okay, so the first thing is uh, your class must extend what? Uh, ticker provider. So come here to your banner class and then I add with ticker provider like this that's when you'll be able to do it, to expand and add more banners at any point so after doing that we are going to create a boolean that will help us to show whether a banner has been expanded or not okay So say expand and make it false by default and then after we're going to create a controller for the banner. So animation controller and then you call it controller and then after you create now the animation animation this is going to be taking double and then create two the animation and then animation view okay so after doing that the next thing that we're going to do we're going to create on click listener so this on click listener is one that will be toggled in the what uh the banners so i can pause the video and see it so after we create a toggling class that will be 
switching expanded from expanded to not expanded like this so after doing that the next thing that we're going to do we're going to create the init state the one that is going to work on the responsibility of initializing the what the controller and also the animation so just simply come here and say init state and then go ahead and initialize the banner controller like this after initializing the banner controller go ahead and initialize the animation and try out different animations and then after doing that then go ahead and uh, uh, initialize animation view okay now that you want to be viewing all right so after doing that uh we go ahead and do and make sure that the widget binding is finished this is how we check if the widget binding is finished and then we just make some delay duration of like five milliseconds and then we display the what the banner so this is how we do it so this will help the user to first uh observe and then this banner will show us after uh five milliseconds 500 milliseconds okay so after doing that the next thing now is uh, to start doing what to start uh, creating a scaffold so i'll come here to and say return scaffold put semicolon at last and then go ahead and put there the content okay we're going to have our column body is going to be a column so I can put the up by if you want all right so after doing that now in this column I'm going to give you children and the children here uh, the first one is going to be the size translation that's going to take now the animation itself. I'll copy it, then I'll expand it, I'll explain it. Okay, so here you have the size animation, and then you pass the animation that you've just defined, and then here you put the content that you want to be, to be shown in the what in the card so this content can be any content of your choice that you want to be shown in a what in a banner okay then you design the content okay and put in this what what you call transition animation let me say it's transition all right so after that you can now display uh, the content like this one okay so you display your content so here it's expanded so i can come here and say text and then i put and some string okay so this is my like my content I said then i'll have to open it afresh so you see it delays for three seconds and then it displays for five seconds so i can even say here it should dis display after uh, five seconds okay so a user's mind can be communicated too so i open here so it lays for five seconds and then as i'm doing when i'm doing my things then the pop-up will show up like that okay so that pop-up can even be like a danger a warning pop-up let me show you 
so instead of having it straightforward like that you can as well do what you can as well come here and give it a color of what of red okay so it can look like what like a real warning so it is just up to you how you want it to work like so that is how we implement banner so go ahead and uh, initialize these things as i've shown you okay please initialize them slowly by slowly as you understand make sure that you insert that you put this uh the, the ticker okay the ticker provider then after you go ahead and just put this animation control view so this animation control view inside the size view that is going to control the content and then the content that you're going to put inside this size view is the one that will be hidden i mean the, the one that uh, will be hidden when uh, when uh, a banner comes up so this is the quantity itself okay so go ahead and uh, make sure that you do it that you understand these ones then after you've understood this one of course then uh, you should challenge yourself by doing this by doing this one for the information it is almost the same so go ahead and challenge yourself and do that one go ahead and challenge yourself and do that one go ahead and challenge yourself and do that one all right so this one is just almost the same but i want you to think uh, really hard to see how you can hide or how you can show this kind of a what this kind of a banner by the use of what of the controller i'm just so challenge yourself and do those things all right so that's it uh for today if not for now i think um since it's a weekend i can let you guys go and uh, rest uh the next lecture uh we are almost uh, finishing the next lecture we'll look at uh, pickers date pickers and uh, progress bars okay so that's what we'll look at in the watch in the next videos and that will be i think next week uh but for today We'll stop from there and I let you go and rest. All right, guys. Uh, goodbye. Make sure that you practice. Make sure that uh, you're not left behind. Uh, we'll, I'm going to see how I get much more content. Uh, so maybe in next week, um, we resume. So I'm giving also this period for you to do us to be able to practice. Otherwise, that's it for today. Uh, keep practicing in case you're stuck you can contact me uh, once we finish these user interfaces they now you will have enough basics for you to get started because uh, me i'm not like other teachers who will say in this video you're going to learn how to make mobile applications and one we want to teach you everything in what in one video which is not really feasible so i'm cooking you slowly by slowly but uh, with the period you'll have enough grounds if you've been practicing you'll have enough grounds now when you're going to start when we shall start creating the applications uh you'll be able to do what you'll be able to understand everything since you'll have got very strong what very strong ground information so don't demoralize these things that i'm teaching you uh practice them practice them and uh, that's what will bring uh, experience to you Okay, unless there's a question. If there's a question, it can come.